Senator Ron Paul now, Republican uh, congressman from Texas and, of course, a former presidential candidate himself. He's calling in today on the telephone uh, from Texas. Congressman Paul, always good to talk to you. If a Paul uh, supporter is watching the debate tonight and, um, you know, needs to be convinced by Mitt Romney, what does Romney have to do, do you think? <laughs> Make sure he sounds a little bit different than the other and be convincing that his policies are a lot different. So many people that have joined the freedom movement were frustrated, you know, with the whole process because they can't see enough difference. So he has to he has to be different. But unfortunately, when it comes to you know whether it's the foreign policy, uh, they're very similar. Or whether right. it has to do with the Federal Reserve, it's similar. So I, I think they our, our supporters see too much similarity. And uh, I think he has to show that he is quite different, just not on management style, but really philosophically. That's what uh, so many people are looking for. How do you think those supporters, who had a lot of enthusiasm for you in the primaries when you when you run for president, how do you think they'll break down in terms of their support in this election? I mean, is it 80-20 Romney? Is it closer to 50-50? I mean, who, who, do they, who do you think they'll move towards? I think the best word is break down. You know, they'll probably go different places. Some will be angry at the Republicans for the way they were treated at the convention, and right. they might not show up. Uh, some may hmm. vote Libertarian. Uh, some, uh, uh, you know, may go with Romney. There's actually some of the young people, uh, because of foreign policy issues, might even go with Obama. So it, it's hard to say. I, I know one thing for certain. Uh, that they're not all going to the one place because they're very individualistic and they don't see the consequences exactly the same. So uh, I think it would be very difficult to predict. Could be a big deal, by the way, in some, especially some of these swing states, if they don't right. yeah. show up. Uh, who are you going to vote for? Mm -hmm. Haven't decided yet. Uh, at least I haven't decided. I've decided not to announce it. Uh, so, no, I... Uh, I, I'm going to sort of sit tight for a little bit longer. No, that's fine if you don't want to announce it, obviously. And some people have made a big deal about how the fact, you know, how you haven't endorsed Romney. But it, it, have you really not decided or you just, you're just not going to tell us? In, in a way about voting for somebody, I obviously didn't, you know, uh, I haven't announced in support for uh, Romney. So right. that means that's very unlikely. <laughs> and I don't think anybody thinks I'm going to vote for Obama. So... Uh, it's it's back to that frustration level of of not seeing a, a dramatic choice in the way the system works and yeah. and you know the inability like tonight there's a debate going on and if you come to this conclusion that the candidates aren't all that different why do we have to just listen to two of them i mean there are right. other people who you know uh, technically are are capable of winning because they're on a lot of ba balance like Gary but, Johnson you're talking about yeah in in, in this country uh you have uh, probably less democracy than in even some of these other countries that we're trying to badger into mm -hmm. uh, being good, uh, you know, follow good democracy. So you'll vote for him then, probably. Pardon me? You've Gary Johnson. You'd probably support him. I, I haven't decided that, yeah. no. It's interesting. Is there anything, but let me ask you one more question before I let you go, because we have all these, this talk about the undecided voters yeah. out there. I think Reuters said it's about 6% of the electorate, and you know, the different polls say different things. Is there something, as you said, you're not going to vote for the president. Is there something that Mitt Romney could still do at this late hour to convince you, Ron Paul, to support him? Bring the troops home, you know, and quit this uh, 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 preaching of a foreign policy where he wants to expand our presence overseas, and that's a, a big, big thing with especially the young people that have been in the freedom movement. So the foreign policy would have to change, and uh, he'd have to give more than token support for a token audit of the Federal Reserve. He'd have to say, well, there's something wrong with central uh, banking uh, right. and economic planning, because that is the reason we have such difficulty you know, in the economy because of Federal Reserve policy. So likelihood of hearing